you want to know what it's like to run two two ruptures on the most capable rig in your fleet you remember that time in high school when the hot girl you thought she flirted with you a little bit and then just completely wrecked you that same day that is running two two ruptures on my gabra Enjoy the snowball of misery. Fuck my life. What's going on everybody hope y'all are having a good one just a little quick test video today with the gapra um a little bit of backstory during the last comp i was trying out the last minute little i don't really even want to call it an upgrade because it definitely wasn't but i was trying something a little new um the day before the comp I had thrown a belt drive in this thing um, just because it's loud with all the metal gears and the trans and everything and I with this three gear in it uh, the gearing was pretty slow so I didn't have a whole lot of bump ability so I figured if I threw a belt drive in this thing as about the easiest way i know of to kill two birds with one stone that being make it a little bit quieter and i guess technically lower the gear ratio either way get some more wheel speed on the top end um and it did it worked great for about 20 minutes and then the belt stretched out on me and that was all she wrote so that was uh, not a terribly expensive learning experience, but uh, definitely not a uh, belt drive kind of a situation. So, lesson learned. So now, I went back to the spur and pinion. Um, I actually did find a pinion that was a few teeth more than what was in it. Um, so that helps a little bit. And then... I went ahead and threw the two two ruptures that I was running on the Capra uh, the last time. I went ahead and threw them on here since this thing's geared down a lot more. Um, I did have to cut a good bit more out of the body, but I'm still leaving as much as I possibly can. So yeah i've got a little bit more wheel speed still not a whole lot um but we're gonna see how she does out here on the rocks um, so 
definitely learned my lesson going over to uh, one of the indoor comps with untested setup. So I'm gonna make sure everything's good to go before uh, we go over there this weekend. So yeah, two two ruptures, um, Amazon bead locks. Uh, I do have some bolt on wheel rotors and I believe that the guy that I got these from said that uh, they are 3D printed inserts that came with these tires. I believe he said that they are called Robo Slug inserts. Um, don't have any experience with that brand. So we'll see how it does. I don't even know what kind of hopes to have for this thing because I've not really been a 2-2 crawler guy. I've had my fair share of experience with 2-2s on trail trucks, but when it comes to rock crawler specific setups, um, not sure. Putting the 2-2s on here definitely makes this thing look like it's got a lot shorter of a wheelbase, so I may end up having to stretch this one out. We'll see only one way to find out and that's gonna be to go get muddy <laughs> so one of the big issues I was having with these tires on the Capra uh, with that Capra transmission it didn't have a whole lot of gear reduction in it and the motor was actually getting hot after a good little while of runtime, and had a significant loss of drag brake right here. This one, not so much. So hopefully, I won't have any heat issues with this one. be thoroughly surprised if I don't have any angry Lexan noises. I didn't do a whole lot of test fitting. I just cut what was left of the fenders or the fender flares off of this thing. So far so good. Actually seems to have a good bit of uh, compliance with these inserts. There's a little bit of Lexan. That was one thing I was kind of worried about. wasn't sure if I was going to have enough weight to put these inserts to work, but they seem to be squishing a little bit. I think before I go up on the hill and try hard line and the other crazy line, I think I'm gonna go over here and try this one first. Seems like every time uh, I get to the point of trying the unnamed climb over here, my tires are already caked in mud and it don't stand a chance. So we're gonna try this one next. I couldn't make this climb on these tires with the Capra. We'll see if this one can do any better. I believe that the wheelbase on this is maybe a quarter inch longer 
than the capper that I have. So we'll see if that helps or hurts the situation. looking good this thing climbs this line no problem on the one nine ruptures but these uh, these two twos don't seem like they've got the same uh, compound just disregarding the inserts I'm just talking about the tires here they don't seem like they're quite as soft of a compound as uh, the one nines came off the line there Might have the same stick that the one nines have. I'm trying to play the four wheel steer wheelbase game here. If I can get that passenger front to try to reach up over that next little knoll. Usually if you can get a tire up over that little nub that's in front of the passenger front tire right now, you can pull it. Not quite there. right there. Oh, off again. That's gonna make for a boring video. I'll play with that one in my own time. We'll uh, see how this thing does over here on Hardline.
right, we're leaving all the leaves and sticks and everything in the way. See how it goes. Too lazy to clean anything up today. I have not run this one with these big of tires up any of these yet, so not sure exactly what line it's gonna prefer. Pretty bad when the Capra does better on these tires than this thing does. She just needs a completely different line, hopefully. Ooh. Gotta watch getting that back tire pinched there. There we go. Ooh. Easy. My goodness. enough for these inserts. Keep it in the slot over there.
This is just absolutely depressing. Try the other tire in the slot, maybe? Line choice, but that's what you're into. This thing is taking lines that I just don't understand. It's getting gripped where no other con no other setup prefers to get grip, and it's losing grip where everything usually gets grip. This is just weird. Definitely took the high line up there. See how it does at the top of hard line, I guess. This section here is where dreams are either made or broken. I don't exactly have high hopes today. Right here on this section where the capper got hot with these tires. Be interesting to see if this one does as well. It. Oh, don't knock that rock down. Shit. Oh, that's not even rock, that's wood. Come on, kick it out. Kick it out. Oof. Not what I wanted. 
good. You're supposed to grab that corner and push yourself up. Like that. Stay with it. on that ledge. There you go. Okay. Now that the easy part's done, Yes, 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 yes. Come on, you're so close. Get up there. This is a very odd line. kidding me. You're gonna have trouble right there of all places. Get with the program. Get your ass up there. There you go. This is a uh, stubborn setup here. Does not like to cooperate. not pretty but it made it well after all that the motor is warm but it's not hot so I guess let's uh, keep trying to get it hot as much trouble as it had on hard line I don't think that there's any way in hell that it's gonna make this one but we'll uh, suffer through a couple attempts over here for a minute. Oh wow. It is just skating all over the place.
Man. I need to set the camera down. This is getting rough. Definitely not anywhere near as forgiving as the one nines. Just instantly sliding over. Try some lines that I ain't never tried before since it's not wanting to take the normal route. Well, that's not gonna work. Extreme approach. Oh, this is not gonna work. Oh, this is really not gonna work. Psst. Right back to the same exact spot. there for not rolling over on me. Ugh, you suck. Well, these two twos may do all right over there on the indoor course, but they definitely don't do worth a shit on some I don't know how to put it. More gnarly, challenging, longer uphill climbs. They've definitely got tight spots over there on the indoor course, but it's an indoor course. That's a whole nother ball game. I think the two twos actually help out quite a bit because you can float over a bunch of the smaller rocks with holes in between them. Out in the wild, these things are just not up to the task. Easy. Yeah. These tires are not meant for this truck. I would have to add a ridiculous amount of weight to this thing to get these to work. And I feel like it's already got more than enough. I haven't weighed it, but 
Now when you've got two steer axles and brass on all four corners, I think that that's, that's plenty. But these just aren't the tires for this thing. Which is a bummer, because if they're not the tires for this thing, I think that that was a waste buying them. And now I've got two sets, so that's even more of a waste. I mainly bought these ones because they already had uh, some what well, felt like pretty soft 3D printed inserts. So, yeah, that's a bummer. I think I'm gonna have to put my 1-9 ruptures back on here. Uh, there's a chance I may go ahead and clean these up and run these this weekend at the comp just to see how it does over there. Like I said, they're, they do a lot better on that dry indoor course than they do out here. We might give them a shot. I'm not sure yet. But I think we'll probably call it a day. I've seen every bit of performance I'm going to get out of these. And it's not much. TR tires get up on this thing. Just cheat and get caught on that ledge first. And it's gonna slide off. Goodness gracious. I can't even end the damn video on this climb. What the shit? Well, this is how much these tires have pissed me off. I'm gonna take them on the roughest thing you can take some crawler tires on. So like I was saying, I'm gonna call it a day because these tires and inserts freaking suck out here. Oh my goodness. This is serrated edge metal. And they're slipping. Like, this should kill these tires. Like anything should climb up that. Got nothing. I never in my life would have guessed that any rupture would have me this disappointed. This is crazy. That is the perfect ending for these shitty tires. I'm done with them. The only way I'm putting these back on anything that I own is if, not if, but when I get the Wraith back up and going as a rock bouncer or rock racer, whatever you want to call it. I, I am just completely baffled right now at these things disappointed is an understatement 
So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed my misery. I hope you guys have a good one. And, uh, oh, that's a shitter. We'll catch you in the next one. Later.